Well, it's morning again. Good morning. Jesus is still Lord. Thank God the word works. You know, I hadn't thought about this verse in quite a while, but I've been talking about the power of the word. The power is in the word. This is what the word says about itself. There hath not failed one word of his good promises. Man, that thing is just loaded. Now watch this. There hath not failed. Anything that God has ever said has come to pass. Now watch. There hath not failed one word, not one, of his good promises. All the promises of God are yes and amen. They're good. God's a good God. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. God said that, Isaiah chapter 55, verse 11. It shall not return unto me void. Well, how is the word going to return to God? When you say it, when you believe it, get it in your heart, and then you let it come out of your mouth, that word cannot return unto God void. Let me just give you a small, for instance, Psalm 107, verse 20 said, He sent his word and healed them. And, I love this, delivered them from all of their destruction. So destruction does not belong to you. Sickness does not belong to you. How God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the power of the Holy Ghost, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. So healing comes from God. Sickness comes from the devil. Now watch this. So when I go to that word and I say with my mouth, he sent his word and healed me. My body could be raging. It's not. I mean, I'm healed. But a person could have terrible symptoms in their body. But they can begin to say what the word says rather than what the doctor's report is. And healing has to come. Well, let's go to another area. You can't pay your bills. I've been there lots of times. I've also been sick a few times. You can't pay your bills. But you go to the word that says wealth and riches shall be in my house. You go to the word that says God's given me the power to get wealth. You go to the word and boldly say it with your mouth. My God meets my needs according to his riches and glory. And God grants me the desires of my heart, Psalm 37, verse 4. And you say that, and you say that rather than the bills that are there. Now, I'm sitting at the kitchen table this morning. I've done this a lot of times. Taken my bills, stacked that eye, laid them on the table, say, Bills, I call you paid. Bills, I'm talking to you. Listen to me. I'm talking to you. I call you paid. God said, You're paid. And I say that rather than being moved by what I see. And Time and time and time again, I've watched my bills get paid supernaturally when there was no way in the world that I could do it. I do it over and over and over and over and over. Well, I can do that with my body. Anytime my body doesn't feel real good, I can just say, no, no, no. There's no word of God that is void of power. He sent his word and healed me, and there hath not failed not one of his good promises concerning my marriage. I'm very happily married, 50 years, be 51 in August, and just enjoying the very blessings of it and just having a good time. We're romantically, physically, emotionally, spiritually in love, chasing one another around, having a good time. The point is the word cannot return void. Say what the word says, not what the circumstances say. And until I'm with you tomorrow, saints, remember Jesus is Lord Thank God the word works.